you know it's almost been two years I've been going bald. Yeah. Almost two years I've been shaving my head bald. That's what I want to talk about a little bit about today. Yeah. Let's talk a little bit about the bald look. <coughs> right off the bat, I'll be honest with you. The main reason I do the bald thing is to hide my white hair. That's right. Because if I didn't shave my head, my hair will come in snowball white. And it's obvious the other reason is it kind of makes me look a little younger. And then the third reason is, well, I could, actually there's more than three. I never had to worry about going to get a haircut. I never had to worry about dandruff. I save money on shampoo. And plus, I like it. But I didn't always think I would like going to bald look. Back about two years ago, I did ponder on the fact, and I made a video about it. Do I, or should I go ahead and just shave my hair all the way off? And I pondered on it. I mean, I was like, maybe I have a funny shaped head. Now it wouldn't work. And then again, how hard would it be to actually shave your head? Because I never shaved my head before. I shaved my face, but never my head. I used to take the, the, the clippers and cut my hair down so short, the only thing there was, was basically just whiskers, so to speak. Whiskers on the head, how you like that? So my family told me one day, you might as well go bald, you're practically there now. The only difference is you don't take a regular razor. So I did it. And if you guys remember, back after I did it, two days later, I ended up getting a cut on top of my head from my stove. But yeah, I did it, guys. And I never, ever, well, one day I probably will eventually grow my hair back. But right now, I don't have no plans. I love the ball look, but it does come with a lot of maintenance. And it does come with a price if you ain't careful. Let's talk about that. Okay, I automatically had a bald spot to begin with, right on top of my head. And whenever Elizabeth would cut my hair, because she used to cut my hair a lot, she's like, Dad, you got liver spots. You got red spots on top of your head. And you know what that was from? Because I never put anything on it. Not even really sun, suntan lotion. Kind of did a little bit, but not much. But now that I shave my head every other day, I use this stuff right here. It's a uh, aftershave balm. I get it from Walgreens. I put that on my head every single day. And especially after I shave. Yeah, you can put it on my face too. Since I've been using this stuff right here, I haven't had no spots whatsoever. My scalp is just as, well, sweaty right now, but just as smooth and just as nice as it can be. But it also comes with another price if you ain't careful. I'm a walker, so I'm out in the sun a lot, okay? And plus, I was out in the sun whenever I did any kind of work on my job, but I was out in the sun a lot. So the other thing you want to be very cautious with is you don't want to burn your head. That means before you come outside in that sun, you better dang well get you some suntan lotion. Now, let me tell you something about the suntan lotion. You know, if I'm going to be outside working and I'm going to get out of the shower, get done shaving my head, I won't even really need this stuff. No, I just put this stuff on. Works the same. But you definitely want to apply that. You do not want a sunburn on top of your head. Lord, no. I've had that. But I actually got the sunburn before I actually shaved my head. Yeah, I got it on my bald spot once. I will admit it's not all peaches and cream. It is a pain in the butt. Because I shave my head every other day and I have not missed my mark yet. So it's not all peaches and cream. It could be a pain in the rump. Sometimes like, oh, I got to go in there and shave my head. And I, I want to make sure it's every other day because if I'm afraid if I actually go two days without shaving, it's going to be recognizable and it's going to start showing white. So no, I've been holding my mark every other day. And then in the beginning, it was a pain in the butt trying to shave my head. Oh my gosh. I tell you, since you, uh, if you go to the bald look, you know how your hair grows. You also know what part of your hair, part of your head grows the fastest too. For me, it's the sides. That grows the fastest. 
And I also thought shaving the back of my head that I don't have no visual on would be the hardest to shave. That's actually the easiest part of my head to shave, believe it or not. The hardest is this side right here. Don't know why I have the most difficult shaving that side. So guys or gals, if you want to go to the bald look, I say do it. But follow them simple rules, you know? You want to put something on your bald head after you get done shaving. And by all means, do not go outside without suntan lotion on. Now, I'm going to tell you now, you're going to look better, you're going to feel better, and you save a money, a ton of money on getting your hair cut, shampoo, conditioner, and all that stuff. And I'm going to tell you, gals, the women, along my journey, since I've done the ball thing, I've met some women that accidentally hit them. Well, they didn't accidentally hit Ended up going bald. And let me tell you something. They were beautiful. Beautiful. The bald look is beautiful. I think it's awesome. I think everybody should go bald. Just saying. I will admit, at first, when I shaved my head, I was worried what my wife would say. So I remember the first day I did it, I came out of the bathroom. I was like, Ange, what do you think? I can't tell the difference when you had your hair cut and then what it is now. So, I got a, I'm very lucky, guys. I got a wife that don't even care about my goatee. <laughs> she, I have free will to do what I want. So, guys, that's pretty much it. And Stormy, quit your barking. It's pretty much it, you know? It will soon be two years this December. I'll be going to bald, look. Yep, be go doing that bald thing. I tell you. Now, I will admit that it does have another setback. When you sweat, there's nothing to stomp it. And sometimes if you're like me and you put the suntan lotion on and then you come outside when you first sweat, you're going to see the white streaks from the suntan lotion. Yeah, you want to get waterproof suntan lotion too. Sometimes I um, put too much suntan lotion on my bald head and that's what causes the white streaks when I sweat. And also when you do the bald look, it shows all sweat. That is the downside to it. Winter time, it's not really bad. I thought we'd have all kinds of trouble with winter. No. All you got to do is wear a toboggan. Yeah. I'm looking to get a be uh, beanie or beanie or something like that. There's a small hat that bald men wear through the winter months. I'm looking to get one of them. I have to look online. But guys, there you go. The bald look. Let's see if I get a thumbnail shot, okay? Yeah. The bald look. If any of you guys are already bald, leave me comments, tell me, down there. And tell me how often do you shave your head? How long you been doing the bald look thing? How long you been going bald? Oh yeah, another drawback is you will go through a lot of shaving cream and you will go through razors too. You know, that is a setback. But not as bad as I thought I would. I mean, no. If you get some decent razors, and you gotta get some decent ones, then you shouldn't have any problems. As far as shaving cream, well, honestly, I don't know how long a, a can of shaving cream lasts with me. But I do use a lot more of it since I do it on my head. All right, guys, that's pretty much it. Come on, let's get out of here. I got to get Miss Barky up. She gets out of here and she don't ever want to come in. Hmm.